So I feel inspired already. We have more to celebrate though. Tonight's a celebration of all that our society has come to embrace through our mission, our dedication of reducing the worldwide burden of tropical infectious diseases and improving global health, generating and sharing scientific evidence and recognizing excellence, and fostering career development, among other things. With those ideals in mind, we move on to the next part of the agenda, which is the awards, which is the awards program. Uh, I'm going to be trying to move this along as concisely as I can while honoring the many worthy recipients of these awards. We're going to start by the annual meeting travel award recipients. For some of our awardees, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to attend this meeting, and we hope that by attending the meeting in the beginning, they'll keep coming. I'm incredibly to say, I'm incredibly excited to say that we have awarded a total of 85 travel awards this year, and I want to thank everyone who supported this effort, including the Society, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the President's Challenge, the Journal of Tropical Pediatrics, and all of our subgroups and additional donors. I'm particularly proud of the President's Challenge Travel Awards. I brought this initiative to the board last year, and the board accepted the challenge. The President's Challenge directed the society to commit up to $150,000 to match donations dollar for dollar for an additional 20 travel awards every year for the next five years. Uh, with 75% of those awards going to individuals from low and middle income countries. I'm proud to say we've uh, moved forward to that. We've achieved enough for the first uh, part of the travel awards, so we have 20 additional travel awards this year. One of those travel awards that's very near and dear to me is two dedicated awards to Drs. John Volule and uh, Peter Adadasumba from Kenya, who are colleagues of many of ours um, and did wonderful work, and it's an honor to have a series of awards to them. Um, the 85 travel awards this year are the most we've ever given, so really pleased with that, and I'd like anyone who received a travel award to stand so we can recognize you. Um, you can see up there that there's still time to and an opportunity to donate to support travel awards for next year's meeting, so please think, consider doing that. Uh, next, I want to recognize the recipients of the Burroughs Welcome ASTMH Postdoctoral Fellowship in Tropical Infectious Diseases. For many years, this unique fellowship has supported the career development of physician scientists focused on infectious diseases in the developing world. Uh, would the recipients that are listed here please stand? Emily Ciccone, Rose Lee, and Kevin Steiner. Moving on to the results of the Young Investigator Awards, uh, every year on the afternoon before this opening plen plenary, Young Investigator Award recipients are chosen from a large group that presents their results at the meeting. As you learned, one of our previous Young Investigator Award recipients, recipients was the director of WHO, Dr. Tedros. Um, uh, if your name's called, please stand and be recognized. Uh, the winners of the Young Investigator Award are Alexandra Ahrens, Beatrice Galatas, Maria Samoas, Hannah Steinberg, and Christine Whirling. Congratulations. Our first tier mentions are Kristen Hoffman, Catherine Mitrin, Talia Condalesi, Paolo Valverde, and Elise Wheelock. Congratulations. And our honorable mentions were Marco Bristolin, Christina Costales, Santos George, Brian Hahn, and Yvette Sosa. Congratulations to all of you. I also want to thank uh, Bill Petrie Jr. Tech Lab and PLOS NTD for supporting these awards. Judging was also held today on the Elsevier Clinical Research Award. If your name's recognized, if your name's called, please stand to be recognized. Uh, in third place, we have Rwandi Karya Wassam. In second place, we have Melinda Tanabe. And in first place, we have Titus Kwambai. So congratulations to all three of you. <laughs> 